we all understand the concept of engine speed uh, in terms of RPM or revolutions per minute. But have you ever thought about the rotational speed of the bullet as it leaves the muzzle of your firearm? I'm going to demonstrate a spinning bullet on the ice so you can get a better appreciation for the uh, high rate of speed that these things spin when they come out of the gun. And I'm going to do it using a Breda 92 here. And I'm not even going to do it on a lake or a river. Just to show it can be done, I'm in the middle of a field. I'm going to do it right there on that patch of ice. As soon as I get one, I'll zoom in on it. Okay, there's the spinning bullet on ice. Okay, that one got knocked around a lot because there's a lot of debris, a lot of little bits of ice because it took me quite a few tries to get it. Uh, that just gives you an impression of how fast these things are spinning. So how fast are these bullets spinning? Let's take this Glock 19 as our example. This gun has a twist rate of one turn in 9.84 inches. If you're shooting typical Winchester white box ammo, you should be developing about 1150 feet per second at the muzzle. Now you crunch the numbers and that's going to give you 84,146 RPM. So what about your AR-15? Let's say your muzzle velocity is 3,000 feet per second and you're using a barrel with a 1 in 9 twist. Well now you're talking about 240,000 RPM. Got this from my 45, my Glock 36. Forty-fives don't spin as fast as the nines. They don't have quite as fast a twist rate. Okay, we got another one here. Ooh, come on. Darn it. Okay, now I want to get it so you can actually see the thing come out of the gun and spin without any interruption. Okay, you ready? Here we go. There it is. Oh, look at that thing go. Oh. There's one. So what's the final word on spinning bullets on ice? Not that unusual, given the fact that bullets spin at a very high RPM. Thanks for watching.